hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i prepare my pepper soup goat meat using plantain and yam so that is my clean goat meat in a pot and there i have a tablespoon of crayfish some seasoning for pepper soup and uh, onion pepper that is my frozen scent leaf and here is my meat seasoning i'm going to be leaving all the ingredients at description for you guys okay so that is the clean yam and pot and plantain and salt so now i'm going to add water into the goat meat like the goat meat i cleaned them already okay so now i'm going to bring that to boil So while the goat meat is cooking, I'm going to start cooking the plantain and the yam. I'm going to cook them halfway through, then drain the water out because I'm going to be adding them into the pepper soup later. So here the goat meat have started boiling, but I need them to boil um, a little more. This is because I'm taking the first water out of it. The reason I'm taking the water out is because when you, when you cook your goat meat pepper soup you notice that the water is really really dark when you drain the first water out you will see your goat meat pepper soup will come out very clean so i drained the first water out now i'm adding hot water make sure you have hot water ready okay when you drain the first water out of the meat so i added the water to be at the same level with the goat meat now i'm adding my mix onion and pepper into the meat you can basically add all your ingredients at this stage except crayfish you'll be adding the crayfish at uh end okay so after adding all the seasoning go ahead and give them a quick stir put the lid on and allow the meat to cook goat meat it depends on goat meat because i'm not going to give you guys a time to cook this meat okay so the yam and the plantain i'm going to drain them out of the water now so this is after a couple of minutes i've already tested the meat the meat is almost cooked this is why i'm adding the yam and the plantain now So after adding the yam, I'm going to stir everything together and add uh, my crayfish into the soup. Then give them a quick stir and allow them to cook for just a minute or so before adding your um, scent leaf. Because when you add your scent leaf, you don't want to overcook your scent leaf, okay? I love cooking my scent leaf maximum 2 to 3 or 4 minutes. So yeah. So this is after about 3 minutes of adding the crayfish three to four minutes this is my frozen scent leaf i added them giving them a quick stay then i'm going to allow the soup to stay for three minutes over the heat and we are done so guys this is the final result the soup and the yam plantain everything is well cooked and this is so delicious guys i sliced my meat to be that little like the goat meat because i just want to take it and put it in my mouth i didn't want to start biting this is why i sliced it this way i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching guys and i will see you in my next one bye